In this video, we will create a schedule for a new project. The first thing to do is to set our calendar. Uh, there are a few different ways to set the calendar in Microsoft Project. This setting should match with each other, otherwise we may encounter some problems. We will see what happens if, there, if the settings do not match with each other in future. So let's start with general calendar settings. So let's go to the project options. File options we will make the general calendar settings in this group so let's go to the schedule let's, I'm going to select all new pro project so this one is just for this one project one so I'm going to select all new projects uh, now all new project will have same setting now let's set our working days and working hours the working hours be set as nine hours per day including Saturday and Sunday will be our holiday uh, let's assume that our project is at United States and the first day of the week should be Sunday uh, if the box is on on the right side of the week starts on we click on Sunday yeah we'll see how to make uh, Saturday as a working day in our following lecture fiscal year starts in January for this project we should be careful that January is selected over here we make sure that January is selected and we will set the default daily working hours as I have already said in this project our daily working hours will be nine hours so let's say work starts at work starts at, at 8 a.m. and end at 6 p.m. and if we give one hour lunch break and it will be total nine hours so hours per week will be 54 and days per month is uh, six days in one week and nine hours a day so hours per week is 54 and number of days per month is 24 now we are done with the default day and hour settings um, in our next lecture we will mention about additional calendar settings we want uh, so I leave I tick this one so assignment unit as a decimal I prefer there are two options percentage and decimal but I prefer using decimal if we put percentage option uh, for example if a tax requires five workers and the percentage option is selected we need to assign 500% of this resource to do, do this task so if it is selected as decimal then we will write we will enter 5 instead of 500 percent so you will be, be you will better understand this uh, when we talk about assigning resources I personally prefer to use the decimal option now we have the scheduling for this project for this project uh, we will talk about most of this setting in the future when we talk about the assigning resources but we need to change two settings here first we will set the new created, created as auto scheduled but before doing that we will look how MS project does calculation when it is manually scheduled uh, so just to see the difference we put the, this one as manually scheduled And we will go back to our main page by clicking OK. In the next lecture, we will see how to enter our activities and how to link between them. But for now, to understand how manually scheduled and auto scheduled settings uh, work, we will we will put three activities here. Let's say activity A 
activity A, activity B, and activity C. Let's say the duration between them is, sorry, the duration of activity is five days, five days, and five days. All right. And so. A is the predecessor of B, so I put 1 in activity B and 2 in activity C. And they are linked together now. If you have noticed, as we enter the values and link the activities, each activity represented as a blue bar on the grand chart. Accordingly, when activity A is completed, activity B starts and when activity B is completed, activity C starts. When you look at the start and the end dates of the activities, we can see that they are complete, compliant with the links. Until now, we don't have any problems. Now let's focus on activity B and activity C. When activity B is completed, activity C starts. So dates are compliant with this. But let's see let's change the duration of activity b to 10 days uh, let's try this one so we change 5 days to 10 days the end date of b is revised but what about activity c we expect to see 5 days of delay on the starting date of c since the end day of activity b is delayed for 5 days but as you see there is no change uh, there is no change when manual option is selected ms project doesn't operate automatically let's do the same operation when auto scheduled option is used so let's go back to the options uh, schedule and automatically auto schedule then click ok now create the activity let's say D E F and let's put the duration like five days five days five days and D is the predecessor of E so I put 5 here and E E is the predecessor of F so I put 6 here to link between them again change now let's change from the duration of activity E to 10 days just like before As we see, the project has the reaction that we were expecting. All of them are calculated automatically. E comes after D and F comes after E. This example shows the importance of this setting. Now we can select and delete this activity. Now we select this one and delete. This example is just cleared. Uh, I want to make one more thing clear here because uh, yeah. Did you notice the difference here in the tax of the field? I'll just show here. You can see the light blue pin here when it is manually scheduled tax and when it is automatically scheduled tax, it is blue bar here. So yeah. This is the thing it is the thing that I just want to show. Now I delete this one. So I delete this one, I go back to the schedule option. Now we will click. So if it is unchecked, new tasks are effort driven. Uh, default tax type should be fixed units. These two options are very important since they affect the calculation of Microsoft project. Uh, just check the boxes below as shown in my screen. Let's go to other option. 
schedule alert option we have two options if you want if you want ms project to give suggestion we will check this one box this time i don't want to make any changes i want to show the schedule warning the next the next schedule option is the calculation by default by default ms project will automatically calculate all when you enter a new data this feature helps us to see the effects of the by default ms project will automatically calculate all when you enter a new data this feature helps us to see the effects of the changes immediately if your computer is not fast enough it will take a long time to make all the calculations you can choose the off option to avoid the time losses by processing the calculation in our lecture we will have few activities and our computer is uh, fast enough to do this option uh, so we will keep it stay on the last title is about calculation uh, when the first option when the first option is selected we update the status of the tax the status of its resource will also change MS project let us uh, to track a project inside another project we will see it in the future lectures in this option if this option is selected inserted projects will be calculated like uh, summary tax we'll talk about summary tax when we are entering our tax we can also make cost calculation in this MS project this calculation are not deta detailed but a uh, general cost calculation can be made and tracked with uh, MS project we'll talk about the cost in following lectures by default actual costs are calculated according to the tax programs percentages by default actual uh, cost are calculated actual costs are calculated according to the tax progress percentages we need to uncheck the box as i said cost calculation is not very detailed on ms project we can have a general cost estimation thus automatic calculation of actual cost will not be a problem you can manually eat an actual cost after tax are completed the last setting is about the fixed cost this setting will remain as prorated this way fixed cost will distribute linearly by default we will talk about fixed cost in detail in our cost lectures now we have completed our first schedule settings we will click on ok button and continue to create our project so this is the end of this lecture see you in the next video